Dear sisters and brothers, greetings from the little town of Bethlehem. In this season, every year, the Christmas story invites us, saying, Come, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass. The Arabic translation of this verse says, Come, let us go to Bethlehem and see the facts on the ground. The Christmas story is inviting us to see the facts on the ground. Bethlehem is a real city with real people. Bethlehem today is a Palestinian city surrounded from three sides by a 25-foot high wall where all the land around Bethlehem has been confiscated. The Christmas story is inviting us to see the systemic injustice in this world. Occupation, racism, poverty, militarization. And when the shepherds went to Bethlehem, what they saw there was they found Mary, Joseph, and the child in the manger. They found real people who have names, who have faces. So the Christmas story invites us also, as we look at the facts on the ground, not to forget the people, because it's the people who suffer the most under the facts on the ground, under the uh, systemic injustice. Dear sisters and brothers, the Christmas story is inviting us to connect to the people of Palestine, to reach out to the Christian community in Bethlehem, to think of the many people worldwide who suffer under systemic injustice, to the George Floyds of this world. It is there that we find God incarnate. 2,000 years ago, hope was born in Bethlehem. This hope is still shining, defying all forms of injustices, racism, occupation, poverty, and militarization. I would like to invite you to come next year and to visit us here in Bethlehem to see the facts on the ground, the longest ongoing occupation in modern history, but also to meet our people, to listen to their stories, to the hopes and fears of the last 70 years. Bethlehem was hit hard by the pandemic this year, and our economy was shut down, which really depends on tourism. So your visit will mean a lot to our people. From the little town of Bethlehem, we wish you a Merry Christmas and hope to see you next year in Bethlehem.